Tour of Columbia Stage 5. Early break goes, a lot of Movistar guys represented, including Winner Anacona, Aleph Philippe is up there, and Souza is there. Team Sky lose massively, with Bernal not being there, and he's their best place rider on D GC. Danny Martinez is also up there, and Oscar Sevilla for Medellin is also there. Team Sky are now chasing massively on the back. Chris Froome is well off the back now, he's, he's just not going to win the race, but it's all chill. Um... So we have a lot of confusion on this footage. We lose 10 minutes of probably most exciting part of the race, unfortunately. Everyone's working well. At one point, Alaphilippe and um, Souza go up the road here. Uh, I couldn't quite tell how it happened. I think it was on the downhill, and no one else seems to have covered it. Uh, but look at these sort of dodgy speed bumps that seem to be everywhere in Colombia. Um, you'll see a lot of them towards the finish, and they are quite sketch. Anyway, at this point, it's pretty obvious they're going to get caught. So I think Souza and Alaphilippe sort of sack it off now and there. Uh, it's all right. Uh, Movistar, quite a lot of riders there. We now in Kona, having just won the Tour de San Luis, is obviously in great form. Uh, and then Team Sky is still just chasing on the back to try and bring Bernal, um, you know, into contention for the GC. Um, I believe he was about 40 seconds up on uh, Souza um, for the stage, and everyone else is sort of just chilling with them, like Quintana is there, um, and a couple of the other favorites. I mean, Miguel Angel Lopez is also there. Um, Okay, three fifty without like four hours to go. Not sure what the time was. A couple of attacks started to go on this climb. Contreras uh, for Astana goes. We now in a corner goes. Danny Martinez goes as well. Um, and this is really where the selection starts goes. And um, Souza starts to go. Um, and this is really, I guess, the big boy attacks when these start when these guys start going. I mean, you know, it's going to be good. Uh, Souza gets across. No one else does. Um, Contreras has been, I'm um, sorry, Contreras has got a cost. Danny Martinez, I believe, is up the road. It's hard to tell at this point because we're about to lose nine minutes of footage, um, which is incredibly sad. So we go from three three hours, 59. Sorry, Martinez just bridged it now. Then Souza and Martinez then obviously attacked and got away. Have no footage of this, I'm sorry. Um, but they basically worked very well to the for the finish line. Um, there are a couple of attacks on the last climb. Um, like, not really attacks, more just like strong pulls to try and sort of drop the other guy. Um, but yeah, they've got he's got the bobbing style on. You know he's going to do well. Uh, Carapaz is trying to get across as well, uh, but it's not going to happen. Um, but behind you can see we've got Vina in the corner, um, second wheel, sorry, third wheel, Ala Felipe, and then Contreras, um, who is the starter man. Uh, two Colombians and one French man, and Julian Ala I mean, he's yeah, he's the favorite for the stage for sure if it comes back together because he's just got an unbelievable sprint. Uh, the finish is sort of uphill sprint followed by downhill sprint. So you can see the absolute mad Colombian fans. It's a beautiful place, Colombia, and. The fans absolutely love cycling. The bobbers are there. Souza's just driving on on the front. Real pure climb. You can see a little dig there. At this point, um, it's pretty obvious it's coming back together. Uh, Contreras is doing quite a lot of work on the front, trying to bring it back. I guess he knew he was in for a good, good spawn GC. And also, Astana was sort of messed up behind. All right, so Contreras bridges the gap. Alaphilippe second wheel. Win Anaconda in third wheel. Probably pretty good position. Souza and... Uh, Martinez know that they're gonna uh, get pulled back, so I guess they're just sort of soft pedaling. It's not gonna happen. Um, and uh, at this point, I guess you've got to think like, how are we gonna beat Alaphilippe? Because you know he's he's the man. Any sprint um, from a select group, you know he's gonna be a favorite, especially when it's uphill, um, and especially when he's just a lot better sprinter than any of these guys in the bunch. Uh, Alaphilippe hops on the barriers to the right hand side, past Souza very cleverly. He must have seen the run in and knows that it's best to leave from the front. So look at this absolute nuts corner. Bunny hop once, take a right hand turn, bunny hop straight after the corner here, boop. Uh, and then Souza on this corner tries to um, get past Danny Martinez because he knows he's too far back on the outside, can't do it. Alaphilippe just leads out from 300 meters to go and just starts sprinting. And, you know, no one's getting past Alaphilippe at this uphill finish. Souza and Martinez obviously tired, can't do it. Contreras, um, I mean, you can already say the difference couple pie lengths easy for Alaphilippe and on this downhill with all the confetti he takes the easy easy win and GC overall um so anyway cheers for watching hope you do en did enjoy this video I should have some more videos sorry for my absence the last couple of days I've been racing and um had some uni work to do so anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one